Hi everyone, it's Nicole Steele. Let me set my computer up. Thank you for joining me tonight, whether you are joining me on the live or the replay. Hi everyone. Oh, I'm gonna turn the volume down. I always seem to forget to do that. Okay, all right, yeah. So my paper pumpkin came in the mail today and I haven't opened it up at all yet. Yeah, isn't that box cute? I know, that's the reason I actually got it. So so how's everyone doing with their self-imposed quarantine? Yeah. You know, I was thinking about this, and back in December, I got sick around Christmas time, and it was this really weird illness. Like, it wasn't like a cold I'd ever had before. I remember thinking that, where I was coughing, I had a sore throat, and I remember telling my husband, I feel like I can't breathe. And I just thought, this is a really strange thing. This isn't like a cold or anything. And then it took about three weeks to get over it. And now they're coming out with all these symptoms of the coronavirus. And I was like, oh my gosh, I wonder if I actually had it. But this was back in December, and that's when nobody knew anything about it. So, yeah, who knows, right? Who knows? But, um, yeah, so, I don't know. It's... Part of me is a little bit over it already. I like I'm tired of it, but I don't know. We're all doing okay here at the house. There's we live in a really small house, 1,200 square feet, uh, one story, and all five of us are here. Brian's working, and the girls are doing their online school, and I'm working down here, and I like having everybody home. I do. So I'm just wondering like what your thoughts are on that too. So. What you're doing to keep yourself amused? Are you reading any good books? Are you guys have your favorite board games you're playing? You know, what are you doing, <laughs> right? So, okay, I am going to put the camera down. I've been spending a lot of time with Lily taking her outside, going on walks and stuff too. You know what the hardest part has been? The YMCA closed. I really like going to work out at five. 30 in the morning or five o'clock in the morning and they canceled the classes, but I was so excited to see they're going to do them online. So yay for the Circle YMCA. I can't wait to get started on that. But so anyways, I want to open up the paper pumpkin kit. So I can't wait to see what's in it. I was super excited about this month, not only because of the free additional stamp set, but because of this box. This box is so adorable. I love it. I can't stand it. And I, I did not open it. I took the shrink wrap off of it. Hi, Marilyn. I took the shrink wrap off of it, but I haven't opened it yet. So it's as much a surprise to me as it is to you. And I thought, you know, I can put a couple of the cards together. So I'm going to flip this camera down and point it at my desk. So close your eyes if you get dizzy at all about any of that. So here we go. down and let's get that going um hopefully is that straight let's see I think that's that's good I'm trying to see there's a delay on the video so it's hard for me to tell kind of but okay I think so I'm sort of looking at it but okay so I'm in the camera and for those of you just joining me, I'm Nicole Steele. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I'm the owner of thejoyfulstamper.com. So let's open this. Oh, cuteness, cuteness. Okay, so when you first subscribe to Paper Pumpkin, it's a monthly stamping kit with Stampin' Up! But when you first subscribe to it, you will get a stamping block because every month's stamp set is designed to fit on these blocks. So you'll wanna hang on to this. You're gonna use it every single month with each new stamp set. And then they give you, okay, so there's a welcome. Everything you need is inside this box. All right. And here we go. You'll get a little ink spot, basic gray. Now Stampin' Up! has said they will not repeat the um, colors in a 12 month period of time. So you can get a new color every month and a lot of people, um, it's a good way to, uh, to test drive colors. So there's basic gray and here's the stamp sets. 
Let's see, I should have got a dark piece of paper, but we can put it on the lid of the box maybe. See if you can see it. So let love grow. Oh my gosh, look, there's little clouds. There's a little flower, raindrops. Wishing you brighter days ahead. There's some hearts. Um, there's like some sprinkles there that says you are capable of amazing things. You matter. Wait, no matter the weather, we're in this together. Let love grow. That's so pretty. And there's some rain. Oh, wow. So this is, I'm guessing this is the stamp set that goes with the kit. And then this is the special one. Oh, look at those boots. Look at those boots. Those are so cute. Let me see if I can grab a darker piece of paper. Let me see if this helps. See, I don't know. I don't know if that helps or not to see that. Oh, Marilyn, you got your kit today too. Have you had a chance to play with it yet? I have not looked at it at all. I don't think that helps at all. So we have rain boots. I believe in you. Look at that cute bunny. He's so cute. Oh, look at those boots. They have a flower pattern on them. And there's what looks like a front porch, some grass, and a basket of flowers. Oh my gosh, I really, I really like this. I'm glad I went ahead and got this. All right, let's see what else is in the kit. Oh. Ads. Okay, and these are some samples of the cards. These are really nice. I, even though I'm a demonstrator, I actually like to see what other, what Stampin' Up! does with their stamps. And I'll, a lot of times, I'll, it's called casing. I'll case their projects and just make what they make because I really like what the concept artists do. They're, they're so talented. That looks like a shaker card. I really like that. All right, and then they always have the little pretty tissue paper. Now, if you saw my blog post on Monday, you could save this tissue paper and use it with the tissue paper watercoloring technique. All right, so we have this. Let's put the box aside and let's open this. Okay. Whoop, I didn't quite get it. Hmm. Oh, you're waiting for alternatives. Hi, Mike. Yeah, a lot of times I just make the kits as is, but um, there's always extra pieces left over, so it is a good idea to get alternative ideas so you can use up all those extra pieces. Okay, so every paper pumpkin kit, it's completely all-inclusive. There isn't anything else you need except maybe a pair of scissors. You know, you have your paper snips nearby. So this is a glue dots. This is the adhesive we'll be using with the kit. And it looks like little epoxy raindrops and clear dots. I love these. I, I have a package of these and I use them a lot. And then here's some twine. This looks like it might be old olive, I'm guessing. Where's the beginning of it? Right there. Huh. Yeah, I think that might be old. Or pear pizzazz, actually. That looks like pear pizzazz to me. Pear pizzazz is more of a spring color than old olive is. Okay, so we got that. And then... A, a full sheet of dimensionals. Wow. There must be a lot of uh, popping up to do on these cards. Okay. And then you get the envelopes. So these are note card sized. And oh, look, they're lined. <gasps> look at those colors. Oh, this is beautiful. So we have four in what I'm guessing is Calypso Coral. I'll have to look at this see what the colors are again and then we have what looks like I'm guessing so saffron four and so saffron or it could be daffodil delight and then this is this is garden green so it's, oh look at this I like the pinstripes these colors are so beautiful together wow yeah I like the raindrops too Marilyn I really like those and you know what those would be pretty on too is um, if you were to stamp a, a flower you know, like that new ornate garden suite that's coming out. It has a lot of flower images in it. You could use these like little dew drops on the flowers or if you had a rose stamp. And, oh, look, we've got some pre-printed card bases here. Oh, look, they're, they're note card. These are note card sized. Wow, and they look like they're watercolored. Yeah, 
yeah. Oh, look at this. So you punch these out, right? Wow, look at how many sheets you get. This is crazy generous, four of them. Oh yeah, and they pop, they just pop right out. And then you can use the adhesive that they give you to um, put them on your card. Oh my word. This was such a good kit to get. I hope you guys subscribe to this. I hope you did not miss this kit. If you're a uh, current Paper Pumpkin subscriber, you have the option of purchasing refills, which means you would get the supplies to make this kit. The only thing you would not get is the ink pad and the stamp set because you already have that. So there's another set of note cards and then we've got this set of note cards. So I think there's, I think there's 12 total. So four of each of these three designs. The watercoloring on this is really pretty. Oh, and here's some more more die cuts um, that you can just pop right out of there. That looks like balmy blue. Maybe this is a blushing, blushing bride in balmy blue, and these punch out too. So, okay. And then this cardboard backing, a uh, funny thing about this, I have a Xyron machine that will laminate and make things magnetic. So I run this, these actually through my Xyron machine and it makes it a magnet. It puts a magnet on one side and I store my dies, my metal dies on them and then I put them in a basket. So don't throw this out. You could also use this too if you were gonna watercolor, put your paper on it and paint and it'll you know, absorb the water for you. So kind of like a palette. So there's a lot of good uses for this chipboard. Us crafters, we don't throw anything out. No, not at all. So, and then as always, you get instructions. You get a list of what your kit includes. Here's the coordinating colors. Balmy blue, basic gray, calypso coral, I was right, grapefruit grove, gray granite, Pear pizzazz, petal pink, shaded spruce, and so saffron. So there's a lot of shades here. A lot of different colors going on. And these are the instructions for how to put the kit together. There's the finished project. So you get a full color photo of that. Those are really pretty. And then I know you also get a newsletter every month once your kit's been mailed. And it'll have a video of how to put the kit together. And it'll have um, alternative projects you can do with your leftover kit supplies. And then it gives you the option to order kit refills also. So let's put some of these together. All right, I'm gonna have to follow these instructions here, which, let's see. Okay, so we've got this, I've got my stamping block and all the stamps should fit on that block, so we're gonna use it, okay. So the first thing is we stamp the sentiments on the labels and I'm guessing you can use whatever sentiment you want, right? Yeah, so this sheet is all the labels, and you can stamp everything on it. So they gave us two to believe. So I believe in you and wishing you brighter days ahead. No matter the weather, we're in this together. Let love grow. You are capable of amazing things. I like that, let love grow. I want to use that one. So let's take that off, and let's throw this on the block. And I always like to put my stamps down on my stamping surface and then do that. And then I actually have the full size of this basic gray um, cube. If you just take your paper snips and run it down there, it'll pop right open. Now these are fully reinkable, so you could get a reinker for it and go ahead and juice it back up once it gets a little dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and let love grow. I can think of people that I could send all these to for sure. Let me give it a little test stamp. There we go. Oh, I like that. I like those thick brush strokes of this font. Okay. Let's see what color should we do first. Well, let's do this one since I, it already popped out. So let's see. Let, let love grow. There we go really pretty okay next um, I get you if you wanted to in the name of efficiency you could stamp all these at one time with all the sentiments but I'm gonna do one because I don't know maybe what else I would want the other cards for I'll have to think about it so all right now you take the twine wrap 32 inches of twine around the umbrella card base now here's a neat little thing about these in the instructions it has a ruler along the bottom so when they say to wrap 32 inches of twine around um, the umbrella card base twice you can actually 
measure it out right along the bottom of this, which is exactly what I'm going to do because I'm going to make it exactly like it says to. So start at the one inch mark, 32 inches, so that's nine. And then we got 18, 27, and then we need five more. So there we go. I'll take my paper snips and cut it. <laughs> Hello again, Mike. Did you have to pop off or something? Okay, now we need to find the umbrella card base. So, a lot of pieces going on, and I know that's not that one. I just, I'm in love with these die cuts here. This is the card base we're looking for. Okay, so I'm going to fold it. Wrap it around the umbrella card base twice. And that's along the bottom. Let me look at the picture here. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then I guess we're going to tie it in a bow. Okay. Yep, I made that a little uneven. Whoops. Yeah, this is the first time I've seen this kit, so I'm just following along with the instructions. Why can't I get this to wrap evenly? There we go. Oh, I will tell them that, Mike. Thanks. You guys, too. Yeah, they've been busy with school and work, so so far they've managed to stay pretty occupied. But Caitlin headed off to a Bible study tonight, so I don't know really how quarantined we actually are. We did head out to the grocery store today, and... It was a pleasant trip. Okay, we got that. And find my scissors so I can trim this down. Okay. Alright. So we got that. And the next thing that we do is we put the boots on here. You get one of those punch out boots. The whole line of boots. You know what? This looks like where we come into the house because my daughters and I all have either bogs or hunter boots in different colors. So this is exactly what it looks like, especially during cross country season because it's always muddy and wet. So, and you know what? It looks like we stamped something on the bottom too. I'm looking at the picture. So it's this right here. It's like these, I don't know, little puddles or water lines. And it goes along the bottom of the card there. So we'll ink it up and we'll stamp those on the bottom. Hi, Brian. A lot of men wanting to learn how to stamp tonight. Okay, and we'll put one there, and we'll ink it up again, and we'll put another one down there, right underneath her boots, and I think this is just meant to look like puddles underneath the boots. Let's put another one there. And I think one more over there will do the trick. Like right there. There we go. And then I bet you we put dimensionals on the back of that. So let me get my sheet that they gave me. And I'm just going to fill. Put one on the back of each boot. And I feel like there's something... I didn't punch out. There we go. Spaces between the boots. Okay. These dimensionals seem thicker, actually, than the ones that are in the catalog. Hmm. They do. They look thicker. Marilyn, when you looked and opened up your kit, did you notice that? These dimensionals are thicker? And I'm not complaining, because... I love dimensionals. They're the adhesive I use the most often, so I'll move that over, and I see what they did. 
you see how she has her green boots there? You can take this and you line it up over the green boots that she's already wearing. Except I want, I need to move that over just a hair so that it's not covered by those. There we go. Okay, just that. These are cute. All right, and then you have to put, you put your greeting on, which they used, I'm gonna actually use the blue that they used. So let's stamp another greeting here. We'll get out the sheet. And let's change out the stamp. And I still I think I still want it to say, let love grow. So I'm gonna put that on there and ink it up. Okay. There we go. All right, and this will get put on. I don't know if I want dimensionals or I think I might use the glue dot just because I want it to be mailable. And if you start adding too many dimensionals, then then you start having to add extra postage to it because the post office says it's too lumpy. And I've definitely been accused of that before because I like to embellish my cards. Lots of bling, lots of layers. Okay, and that just goes right there, just like that. This is cute. Look at that, that's the first card. And then you have these pretty envelopes to go with it. Look at that, ready to go. That was fun. You know what, let's make another one. Let's use one of the other card bases. Okay, so this one, no matter the weather, we're in this together, we can start making this one right here. Okay, we'll fold that base up. And it looks like that one uses these boots right here and the flowers, these flowers. And it also uses twine, but this time we're gonna wrap the twine around the boots and then we're gonna stamp this white circle, this white stitch circle right here. Yeah, it is cute, isn't it? Paper Pumpkin has come an awful long way in the seven years since they first started. I remember the first few kits and they were okay, but you know, that's like anything. When you first start doing something, you improve as you go along. And now the paper pumpkin kits are incredible. I'm going to put wishing you brighter days ahead because that sounds like something I would say. Next month's um, Stampin' Up! already told us what April's kit is, and it's about celebrating families. And it's called My Wonderful Family. All right, wishing you brighter days ahead. There we go. Now this could be tricky. Trying to wrap the twine around these boots. I'm think actually I think the best way to do this would be to put these boots on with the dimensionals first and then slide the twine uh, underneath it and around it. I think that's what I might do. Or let's try it this way first. So they doubled it up. So if you want to make your twine thicker, which I actually think it's easier to tie in a bow whenever it's a little bit thicker. So you can just take your length of twine and you can fold it in half just like that. And you don't even have to cut it off the spool yet. And then we can wrap it around the boots twice. And then what I'm going to do is remove the adhesive liner. And I'll stick it down on my card just like that. And then that way the boots are held in place. 
and I can tie it in a bow. March is your birthday, so you always get paper. Is that your birthday gift to yourself? Happy birthday. That's a great birthday gift. Do you normally get a year subscription at one time, or do you just get it month to month? Actually, March is a good time to do that, because then you get all those free celebration items um, when you subscribe. My mom just actually bought a year's worth of paper pumpkins, the prepaid code, and she ended up getting, I don't know what it was, five, five celebration items for free, plus she got all the Stampin' Rewards, which are the free Stampin' Up! products, so, and then when you get, when you prepay for 12 months, it's like you get the 12th month of Paper Pumpkin for free, so she really got a, she got a good deal on it by doing that, by prepaying, so, okay, so we've got that, and then this will go there, and these flowers will get tucked in like this. They'll sit on top, oh my gosh, this Wow. Now I've got to be using these for something. These epoxy droplets. I forgot those were even here, but they've got to be part of the kit somewhere. So I'm sure, I bet you on the last card I could put them on those boots. And we'll tuck that right there. Wishing you brighter days ahead. I'm going to adjust this a little bit looks like it's a little bit crooked. Now this I'm going to put on with the dimensionals that are in the kit because I want them to look like the boots were stuffed with these flowers and that they're coming out of them. I've seen people actually use boots as planters and it's a really cute idea. I am not a gardener myself. I can't tell you what any kind of flower is at all let alone keep them alive. Like I don't know what what types of flowers those are. So if I ever make a stamping project and the flowers are not the proper color, that would be why because I just don't know. I just don't know what the what the plan is that I'm stamping. So, let's see. Yeah, you just add the enamel drops and the raindrops wherever you want on the cards. So, I'm going to put some raindrops on this one. These enamel drops are so pretty. They're clear and they're so tiny that um, you'd want to use a, the piercer um, the piercer tool on the take your pick tool to lift these up because I think they'd be too small to do with your fingers. So I'm just going to put a few of those on there. I need more. I told you I like to go overboard. There we go. That is a cute card. Really. And you know what else too? I'm wondering... What would Wink Estella look like? What do you think? Put some Wink Estella on these flowers here. Now this Wink Estella did not come in the kit, but I'm gonna use what I have to dress this up even more. Ooh, look at that. By putting Wink Estella on those flowers, it sort of picks up the shininess of those epoxy droplets. Mm. How could you not smile getting a card like that? And then you have the garden green envelope that goes with it like that. Very cute. Okay, so let's make the third one in the kit, this one right here. And I actually, I already stamped that one, so I have the sentiment already for that. And it's got that cute little bunny. Yay! I get to make the bunny card. All right, let me find my, I have it all sitting in a pile over here. All right, that's the one we just did. So it isn't that one. So here, you, you can look at those pretty cards while I try to find the other. There it is. Okay. So we'll fold that in half. I like the size of note cards. Although I really, really, really like to write messages inside my cards. I, um, I like the small size of a note card when you, I just want to jot off a, a quick note. Okay. So now we have this cute little bunny right there and we're going to use one of these hearts and it looks like we need this right here these boots with these flowers okay so i've got my three elements there i've got my raindrops to add got my adhesive and we're going to put this on with dimensionals my guess is 
on this particular note card, these are all going to get put on with dimensionals. Now these kits are designed to be done in about 30 minutes and they're good for beginner stampers. They're good for stampers who are always on the go with you know kids or grandkids activities. If you work, you could take them to work with you and you can stamp on your lunch hour because they have everything you need right in the box. So you just have to grab the box and go. And I don't know how big your purse is, but this paper pumpkin box would fit in my purse. I upgraded the size of my purse recently um, just because I actually am a kind of a book nerd, bookworm, and I wanted to be able to carry a book with me everywhere. <laughs> so I got a bigger purse. You're always prepared when you have something to do. You know what I mean? When you have to wait unexpectedly for something, you, it doesn't bother you when you have something like a book or a stamping kit here. Okay, and this heart. Let me see if, a, if the dimensional doesn't fit on there. We'll just, I don't think it is going to fit. It's going to be too big for it. So what I am going to do is I think I'm just I'm going to snip one of these little end borders here because essentially that's half of a dimensional and that'll fit just fine on that heart. All right, and we'll put that above the bunny there. Okay, and then we've got this and, oh, looks like my ink smeared a little bit there. I must have brushed it before it was completely dry. Okay, and then now I'm going to tie a bow with this again. Now there are different ways to tie a bow. You can wrap it around your finger and go like this, or wrap it and go this way, or you can make bunny ears. And I don't normally do it this way. I like to do the, the wrapping technique, but you can do the bunny ears. And just when you were learning how to tie your shoes, maybe somebody taught you to make bunny ears. That's not how I was taught, but I learned it after I started stamping. Okay, now to adhere this, I'm going to use a glue dot. So I'm gonna stick one right at the end there and I'm gonna peel this liner off. And we will stick that right on the glue dot and that will hold it well. And then we will add some more of these raindrops. Well, you know what? I don't want to put the raindrops on them. I'm going to use the clear circles instead. There we go, because this sky is too blue. It doesn't look like it would be a rainy day. Just put, oop, sticking to me. There we go. Um, I think I'll do another one down here. There we go. All right. Very, very cute. Let me see if I can find my other ones. So you would make four of this one, four of this one, and four of this one. And that's what would come in here. Now every month each kit is different. It's not always cards, but Paper Pumpkin always gives us a heads up of not what the exact kit contents are, but what the projects are. So if you decide you're a card maker and you don't want to do 3D projects, you can always choose to suspend a month of your subscription. So you have that option. And I'm going to see what else I can do with these cards because this is really pretty. Like if you didn't want these to be note card size, you could actually cut it right down on the score line and you could mount this onto a larger A2 size card, which would be uh, four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. And then you could decorate it that way. Um, and the spool of uh, linen thread that they give you, this pear pizzazz stuff, it's very generous. So you'll have extras that you can make something with. And then you have a whole extra stamp set this month to celebrate Paper Pumpkin's seventh birthday. So this is the stamp set that came with the kit. This is the extra super size larger one that they gave us. You can use Stampin' Blends to color these images. You can use watercolors. You can use sponge daubers. You can use our Stampin' Right markers. There's so many options. And since we're all home quarantined, we've all got lots of time to play with it and experiment, right? So 
Well, thank you for joining me tonight. Again, I am Nicole Steele of The Joyful Stamper. And if you want to order Paper Pumpkin, just head to my website, shopwithnicole.stampinup.net, and go ahead and get it. Get yourself some free celebration items. That's almost over. And don't forget to use this host code, and I will send you my March class bundle of tutorials. And they are very spring-like, too. I promise you'll love them. So thank you for joining me tonight. And um, I'll be live again tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. So hopefully I will see you then for Coronacation. Bye.